so bad. Oh my. Don't do that. That's what they want you to do. Fuck. I knew it. I fucking called it, guys. Everybody said I was fucking crazy, but I told you guys, while all the big channels were cramming it down your throat, that all the fucking staffs are coming back, we're going to get the staffs. I fucking said, I don't think we're going to get the staffs. They're not going to be in there. Not in this fucking DLC. And everyone called me crazy. One guy even had the balls to say, you're not a big YouTuber. What the fuck do you know? And it's like, what the fuck does the size of my YouTube channel have to do with my knowledge of the Nazi zombie fucking storyline? Kid, I was probably covering videos when you were in fucking diapers. Like, people just blow my mind with this shit. But I did call it. I told you guys there was going to be no staffs. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, they could possibly still be in there, Z. No. I mean, by now, we've done the full main Easter egg. By now, we would have fucking found some sort of minute little hint, little clue as to where the fucking staffs were, how to build them, or anything like that. So, just wanted to bring that up, guys. I called it. I also said that there probably was not going to be a Hell's Retriever when everybody was 100% sure there was. Now, the Hell's Retriever might still be in the map. I'll give that one a chance. But the possibility of finding four staffs in this fucking map after all this time, no. I, I just don't see it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but moving on. So, we're going to be talking about the Revelations ending cutscene that was so very fucking disappointed. Like, right off the bat, I, I, the first time I watched it, my initial reaction, I was just fucking disappointed. I was mad. I was like, what is this bullshit? It's such a cop-out. I said the same things about the Origins ending cutscene when we found out that it was just Samantha playing a game in a room. I was like, it's just a cop-out. It's a way to explain things without actually having to do any work or be creative. You know, it's just a cop-out for the storyline. But as I thought about it more and more, I'm actually kind of excited. I am still pissed off. If you think about the cutscene and the way it ended... They shows our four characters holding the staffs after the great battle, which is a huge fucking problem for me because you guys have know I've harped on it time and time in a video. I really want to play through the great battle. They keep talking about this great battle that took place and how uh, Pablo was there and all these some of these other characters that we know from the storyline were there and how it was such a magnificent battle and there were monsters and beasts and things like that. Crazy ass magical staffs and shit going on. And I just wanted to play through this great battle so badly. But where the cutscene picks up at is after the great fucking battle. Wherever the next game decides to pick up at it's going to be after the great fucking battle. If it's after this cutscene, if this cutscene's happening before the next map, then we're going to be picking up after the great battle. We're not actually going to get to play through the great fucking battle. It's just so irritating. It bugs the shit out of me. It's like, that. that's all I want to do is just play through that map. I want to see that map. And it looks like it takes place in Origins, so I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, it's it's we've already had it. It's Origins. We've already played it, even though it wasn't the Great Battle itself. We already know what that map looks like. No, Origins was an excavation site. This map, the Great Battle, took place hundreds of years before Origins took place. So they tore that shit up. It looks Origins looks nothing like what the Great Battle would have looked like. The Great Battle would have probably had like castles and shit and fucking you know it was medieval times. So. It wouldn't have looked anything like the excavation site, how it looked in World War One when we were in France. Um, that It wouldn't be the same. So I want to play through that great fucking battle, and it's just so irritating that they're picking up after the great battle. Now, they could go back and decide. I know a lot of people are going to say it, so i got to bring it up. They could say, well, fuck it. We'll give you guys the great battle. It'll be the first map pack. It'll be fucking epic and awesome. You guys will finally get to play it. And then we'll have to watch that premise cutscene once again where they're holding the fucking stats. That shit was so corny to me. I'm sorry, guys. It just felt like you could see it coming a mile away. As soon as it cut to uh, Dempsey's face and it started to back out, fade out. It was like, oh my god, they're going to hold up the fucking stat. Are, like, are you kidding me, guys? You couldn't have thought of something way fucking cooler. Like, a way cooler version would have been if Monty spawned him in, and all of a sudden, like, right off the bat, they were just shoved into a fucking epic battle, like, fighting Margwas and shit, and it's like this epic battle, and it's like, oh my god, that's where we're going to pick up. Like, the hype would have been so fucking real if they went that route with it, but instead they give us this corny-ass fucking scene of the character's holding the staffs I, it, like it, it just blew my mind i'm sorry guys i know it's tough for me to say some of this shit. i sound like a hater but i don't care 
The other thing that really fucking bothers me is this map is called Revelations and it revealed nothing, like absolutely fucking nothing about the characters we care about. Like the entire Easter egg was about Monty and Sophia, who Sophia wasn't really shit until Gorog Crovey. Like, when, nobody cares about Sophia, Treyarch. Nobody gives a shit about her backstory, Dr. Monty's love life. I mean, I don't personally. I want to know about Takio Dempsey. I want to know about Nikolai's going to get his wife and his family back. I, you know, I want to know shit like that. I don't care about Sophia, a character that has barely even been any part of our fucking story at all. I mean... What the fuck? And then uh, the whole, like, Black Ops 3 zombie storyline was about Dr. Monty. And it's just like, why bring in a new character that we don't care? We want to know about our old characters, Treyarch. We don't, you don't need to bring in new characters. And they're the main theme of our fucking storyline. That's not the point. That's not what we wanted. So, I don't know. The whole thing just really kind of bothered me. There's so many things left over. The map's called Revelations. And it was supposed to answer all our questions. Blundell said that flat out in a fucking interview. All of your questions will be answered. No, they're not. None of our questions have been answered. I mean, what's with the kids in the room? Like, I know... Okay, these we have these kids in this room, and they're pure souls, and then we trap their souls into the summoning key and blast it off into the fucking Apothecan Sun and just destroy them. Like, I mean, I'm guessing that's what happened. If you fucking blast it off into an Apothecan Sun and it blew up, you would fucking die along with it. I don't see how you could fucking survive that shit. So, these souls that were so important why we just fucking just destroyed it we just sent them off into the fucking sun they weren't important at all we didn't use them for shit literally not shit in the main easter egg or the storyline like we could have just sent the summoning key into the sun with sophia and blew it up without any souls in there you know like it didn't fucking matter we didn't really get any more answers about Pablo or Peter. I mean, they, they threw in little cameos of them and like little radios of Pablo talking and stuff like that. And we know Pablo died and he was being experimented on and stuff, but they didn't really dive into anything. Like I was hoping to learn more about Peter, especially, and he was just kind of a cameo in Girl Rod Crovey. I don't know. It didn't really, they didn't go in depth with it. They didn't go in as depth as much as I would want them to, like they did with Dr. Monty and some of the other characters. And there's just other questions, like the Pentagon Thief. We still, to this day, don't know who the fucking Pentagon Thief is. How crazy is that? I thought we'd be getting answers years ago, back in Black Ops 2. We still don't know who that little fucker is. Uh, the Cosmonaut from Moon. We don't know what he was doing up there, why he wanted to take our guns and shit, and like, well, I don't, there's no answers. Like, what, what's up with the Pentagon Thief and the Cosmonaut? You know, we got no answers. Why did they blow up the moon in fucking Derizon Drac? What was the point of blowing up the moon in Derizon Drac? I just want to know, Treyarch, because it, it makes no sense. The moon had nothing to do with the story that we got at all. <laughs> and I've gone more in depth. I'm not going to go in depth with why it didn't matter in this video. But I do have a video explaining why blowing up the moon had absolutely no fucking effect on what was going on. One of the other things that really bothered me was the uh, blood vials. Now, they never really showed how our characters used the blood vials to stay in this world, in this universe, in this dimension. Like, they didn't go... They I wanted to see, like, exactly what they did. Did they, like, drink them? Did they perform some sort of ritual or some shit like that i mean did they like smear it all over them i like what how did the blood vials how did they use them in order to stay in that universe they weren't just wearing them on their hips because in the ending cutscene, you can see that one of the blood vials is empty so they did something with it and i it's like one of those things that you would assume that they would just show you know you i just assumed that they were going to show exactly why the blood vials were so important and how they were used and it's another one of those things that just wasn't fucking answered. So one of the really big problems is Dr. Monty is supposedly like this all-seeing character. He knows all. He has all these crazy abilities. He's almost like a god, pretty much is what I think they were portraying him as. Like, he is god. You know, he created the universe. He's trying to create this perfect universe. Holy shit. It just thundered so fucking loud. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. <laughs> it was really loud. But he just created... So he created the universe. He wants to create this perfect universe. And so that's why he has to send the characters away. At, in doing so, he starts the cycle all over again. I really thought that the point of our Black Ops 3 zombie storyline was we were going to finally break the cycle. 
And once again, this is why I said that this ending felt like a cop-out because we didn't fucking break the cycle at all. All this ending did was show how the cycle began in the first place. I guess it's really cool that they showed us exactly how the cycle began and everything like that, but I thought this storyline was going to be how we end the cycle. But like I said, I have mixed feelings about it. Like at first I was really pissed off. I felt like it was a cop-out. Now the more I think about it, it's like, okay, it's really cool they showed how all of this came full circle you know how it all began and how we're trapped in this loop and our characters and dr Monty, like nobody even realizes it nobody realizes that they're stuck in a time loop even dr monty himself who is this godlike character which is fucking mind-blowing um and like i said i'm gonna be really excited to see how the next trailer game plays out and hopefully it's I hope they pick up where that cutscene left off and we are playing in medieval times because I believe there is a lot of fucking potential there for playing in medieval times. We're not going to have, obviously, we're not going to have guns and things like that unless they explain some sort of way how the universe was fractured and guns were able to be brought into that dimension or some crazy shit. But my guess would be we'll probably have like the staffs and then there's going to be like bow and arrows and slingshots and I don't know, swords and fucking shields, all sorts of crazy shit. You know, it's medieval times. Maybe we'll be able to ride horses and maybe there'll be like ancient artifacts and relics we find and just crazy shit like that. You know, something other than guns, I think would be a really cool fucking twist on Nazi zombies and the story and everything. And it would really bring a whole new mechanic and feel to the game. So like I said, I have mixed feelings about this. I really do, guys. I'm not completely hating it. And, um, you know, I'm really excited about the future of Nazi zombies and the story and everything and all the potential that we have for this story. So we'll get to play through all of the crazy shit that took place in the past leading up to Origins, which would be really cool. Um, so I don't know, guys. This is just my thought, my little rant. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, if you're new to our channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It always helps us out. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Le links are down in the description below. But as always, thank you for watching, guys. I'm Z. Bye-bye.